Hey guys, it's Anthony Super Duty Service. Figured I'd make a video with my other, I can't pause this because this one really gets a better picture. This is Habe's 03 Excursion. We'll just call that All American Badass right there. Oh, my hand's shaking. But, pulled it out, didn't even know he had a problem. Look at the thrust bearing. Just separated. Didn't even chew it away, separated it. I mean, it chewed a little bit, but I mean, you know, yeah. And look at the look at the bearing journal. We painted it red, uh, but you can see the thrust journal right there. You can see this side is all perfect. This had 125 thousandths in play, so everything else looked good. But that right there says I don't do oversized bearings, undersized, whatever the heck they call it. I don't care because I don't do it. Uh, just throw the crank away. Just get rid of it. It's crap. We'll call it wall art or yard art. Probably paint it solid red and put it out in the freaking outside. Uh, just going to give a little rundown of his job here. Aftermarket exhaust. This is what you get here, aftermarket exhaust. We'll weld it back together because I'm not working around that or trying to take those clamps apart or all that crap. Hell no. Screw that. But, yeah. Hey, we got some Bilstein 5100s. He put them on. Got some new airbags back in the back with his uh, leaf springs. You notice the positive arch in the leaf spring on excursion? That's freaking nice. Uh, redhead gearbox. Go ahead and throw a redhead gearbox on it. Um, he bought, this is a 2003, and he bought an engine that was an 05, 06. This is, I have quite a few parts here that are extra because we are swapping the entire engine over to 05 down to everything. I mean, everything. Here's his engine right here. Uh, same block. I re I test fitted it before we sent the block off to make sure it was good. And uh, it's only got five thousandths in play on the crankshaft, so didn't hurt anything. You know, just swap the crank out. He got new front cover. Lo and behold, they used to be really hard to get, but 05 front cover. Call it an oil pump kit. All new shiny. I think we're gonna have to clear coat it. New shiny front cover. Look at this. This is worth more than a front cover. 05 engine harness. I'm gonna swap it over. Make the 05 engine harness. Got the 05 Fickham harness. Uh, this is another cool one too. We balanced the rotating assembly. Rods are all matched. The big and the small end are all matched. You can see the see the pistons are matched for weight too. You can see, kind of had to cut a, quite a bit out of some of them, but they're all matched. You see how this one right here, this one must have been the heavy one. Um, yeah, I mean, went ahead and 03 camshaft and just a massive amount of parts. Massive. There's a lot of crap. Uh, but that, that kind of crankshaft in play at 125,000, push the front, the front, uh, crank seal out it was leaking oil profusely pro whatever you say that profusely and it uh uh ran like a champ though he had no idea he even had any issues no idea at all so it's kind of a blind side kick in the gut right there is what it is but right now we're going to go ahead and all new rods we replaced all the rods just because i mean rods are 800 bucks for a set of rods from ford it comes with the bearings it comes with the bolts so you save a little bit there maybe 100 bucks and and you get new rods the bushings are going to be new uh just to press a freaking bushing in i've 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 had them go 45 55 bucks sometimes as cheap as 35 bucks because these are tapered rods the tapered rods take a special jig and not many people do it uh, so by the time you spend even 40 bucks to push the bushing in and then you buy the new bearing and uh, then you buy the bolts, which aren't that much, but you're pretty much there. Why not just buy a new rod? You know, plus with the damage that we had on the crankshaft, you know, it bouncing around 120 thousandths side to side. We just, you know, it's uh, air to the side of caution when it comes to 800 bucks when you're looking at a big freaking huge ticket right here. So went ahead and put, put the rods in. Uh, I don't know what else we're doing. Who knows? A whole bunch of stuff. Got 05 rocker boxes. Uh, basically just everything late model 
late model everything and he's not getting that I have to go ahead and come over here and I'll show you what he's getting yeah that's kind of nice but I got to walk around look at this holy crap got a nice freaking 550 in here this is what he gets right here that's us they're selling freaking fast I cannot keep up I've only got two on the shelf right now that are ready but that is super duty service stuff right there Right there, that's TIG welded. TIG welded on. Yeah, it's nice stuff. And he's getting he's getting a Wi-Fi. These this was an 03. This or this was an early model. You can tell by the heat shields. We don't get too carried away. We just want the fiber joints in it with the OEM flanges. Uh, yeah, so this is Habe's truck. Excursion. All American badass. That's what it is. It's freaking it's nice. I mean it's real freaking nice. It's nice. It's got the rack on the top with the spare tire in it. It's a cool son of a gun. But this was supposed to be a nine-day job. <laughs> we pulled it in. We had nine days to do it before we saw the crankshaft issue. And then when we saw the crankshaft issue, it's actually Patriot issue. And then once we saw the crankshaft issue, it's like, well, now we need to balance it. You know, I've, I've got cranks here. I uh, haven't been too good at keeping the harmonic balancer flex plate and all that stuff with the cranks. And I'm, I know you could probably just swap it out, but we don't roll like that. We, I want it to balance. If we're going to swap a crankshaft, let's balance it, which I think it was like 13 grams out of balance. He said it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. So, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, new lifters, new everything, obviously. You know, I mean, that's keep the lifters soaking in oil. They've been in oil for a couple days now. Injectors have been in oil. We've been planning this job for, holy crap. I think he's been on the schedule since August or August, June, July. I don't, I don't know. I think it was August, August or September or something. He's been, we've been planning this job and here it goes. It's in. It ought to handle pretty freaking good. I like these little fat springs he got. I think I'm going to put them on my excursion. Uh, he got a 900 pound spring to put in there. We just got our excursion done too. Yeah, it's nice. But this is, uh, this is it. This is actually an 03 crank. Came out of a 2003. I mean, they're all the same. It doesn't really matter. But this came out of a 2003. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put 05 pistons in because it's the bowl on the piston that's different from 03 to 05. This will have us putting 05 glow plugs. We'll not be using 03. Basically, if he goes to order parts for this, which he ain't never going to have to because we put all new crap in it. Uh, this, this is for all argumentative purposes this is a 2005 the only thing 03 left in it is the camshaft so we got an 03 cam in it but there's my little rundown i think that's about long enough uh i'm trying to think i'd like to do it with this one with this camera because it has a little bit better picture quality all new gaskets we buy all ford oil pan oil pan is white white so I look at that as uh, paint it bright, because what are you trying to hide? I don't want to hide nothing. I wanted them to look under there with a flashlight and it shine all over everything. So, all right guys, we're gonna get back to work. Have a good day.